Good morning, campers! Telltale are officially back, and with probably the best franchise they could have returned with. So, I guess it's up to me to ruin everything they've worked so hard towards. Sorry, guys. Listen, come on! Yeah. We begin with throwing a man into the airlock, as we don't tolerate people breaking watershed hours, even through the means of unfortunate family names. Listen to me, damn it! Never listen to me! But you're probably wondering, how did we get here? Well, here goes. Let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? By the end of the day, all of us are going to be fucking rich, but mostly you and me. Bit of a different vibe from a moment ago, I know, but bear with us. So, we had a job to scavenge the UNN Urshanabi, an Earth battleship that went missing with no distress call, which usually means something fishy's going on, and also some wicked loot. Less than a week ago, no distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> don't make the same mistake he did. I work for you, but you don't own me. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. Well, that's one reason to press that button. We've got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. Apart from me and my big red button. Now drink. Nah. I'll toast you when I've got my fortune. Suit yourself. I'll keep it waiting for when you return. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Oh dear, I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. The years following the sequel trilogies have made Masconata into a bitter piece of work, and honestly, I've had enough of it. Call me that again. She's been chewing on that same cigar for weeks. I assume this is Khan's husband. It's the happiest I've ever seen her. I wonder what angry pilot could have written this. So, the barbecue sauce situation got a bit out of hand, and fights were beginning to break out on the ship. Just let me go, it just fell, okay? What I tell you! Tinsha, you stupid prick! Quit fucking up! But I was enjoying it way too much to make him stop. Hey, boss man! Make him stop! Shut it, Okaka! Carry on. I'm enjoying the show. See, Pashanwala? Even Exo agrees. Okay, okay. For the good brother. Ah! <laughs> Fucking hell, man. We got a job, Baradnas. Listen up. Nah. Fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. He said. He said. This the next job. And he the boss man. Just like series, forcing everyone around, only this time no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? Give me the barbecue sauce! <sighs> this isn't <sighs> series. On the ship, I'm the EXO. Shit. I was only fucking with you, Kope. Come on, Baratna. I then found out that Arlen had not only been putting barbecue sauce on his porridge, which already is a bit weird, but he'd been doing it totally wrong. Pashang Baltaloda, you're supposed to take out the damn bottle. But my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. I bet she sniffs that box before she goes to bed. Excuse me? I then became the embodiment of evil, Mr. Satan himself. Virgil. But making Virgil bang his head on the table. Virgil. 
<laughs> it's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded. It seems that Virgil isn't a proper medic, because he's resorted to using the healing power of crystals to operate on his patients. That Maya would kill for. While Miss Castillo can no doubt install a new crystal, I'm afraid we'll need a new one first. Unfortunately, his amethyst was broken or ran out of charge or something, I don't know, I don't know how these things work. So he asked me to go find another one. a high quality gem for surgical work. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. Unless it's meth, no. Any other medic, and I'd assume he spent the day napping in this, but not this medic. I don't know if that says more about Virgil's work ethic or my ability to ensure this chair is always occupied by my crew. Should I be concerned that our medic thinks we need this many prosthetics? Does he know something I don't? Oh, he knows what I'm about to do to this crew. <laughs> Hate me all you want. Then Anderson Dawes became a force ghost and informed Drummer that he has bound his soul to her belt. You love your belt. And right now, belt is me. Bit weird. Great, you've made us self-conscious now. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Fucking make me. Ooh, you're hard. Typical engineer. Smart hands. But caca for brains. I already beat Arlen's ass today. Guess Virgil can handle one more patient. Oh crap. How am I going to stop this? No, no. It's, how can I stop that? It's way too fast. <laughs> that was unfair. And again, what am I supposed to do? I can't type that quickly. S P A. Oh, fuck. <sighs> that was just unfair. Cutting thrust. Prepare to enter float in three, two. <laughs> oh, they gone fuck. You got me. <laughs> fuck yes. Finally. <laughs> How the hell does that system work? You got like a connect back there. That was a good move. But if we were playing for keeps, I would have headbutted you at the end there. And if we were playing for keeps, I would have smashed your brittle belter bones up against the ceiling. Well, that sounds a bit ableist. Arlen and Rayan have begun breaching the airlock off the bridge. Once we're in, we are Holy going to- Holy shit, Io! All right, rude. Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire off from its poles after volcanic activity. But it's clear as day. That's no moon. It's a rock! I usually only look for what could kill me out here. But it's nice getting to see it through your eyes. Even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from her oxygen valve. You mean an inner who pile-drived your ass into a ceiling, right? Ooh, kinky. Reminds me when Rayan and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hole and shit his back suit. <laughs> shut, shut it! Go <laughs> oh. ah. oh, Fucking table scraps. She's crazy. Now say puke in your soup, okay? Eh? That you won't choke to death on your own sick. Why did you say that? Coming through! <laughs> hey! What the hell's this? Quantum processor? What the hell is that? This is by far the best new Telltale mechanic. You ever cut anybody's head off, Exo? Back when you ran with Dawes? One time, 
I cut a man's eyes out when he looked at me funny. <sighs> For real? Sure did. Wore them as earrings the next night. But Shang Fong. Doesn't look like a typical pirate attack to me. Well, yeah, pirates right. usually use boats. Anyway, I continued on my scavenging mission to the best of my abilities. Okay, time to scavenge. I bet the crystal in this laser system could work for the autodoc. Hope it's still intact. Yeah, hopefully. I then tried my hardest to make Kamina vomit in her helmet to test out Arden's theory of drowning in a bowl of sick. Oh, this is awful. I also made it very clear that I do not trust my crewmates. You wanna be inside the ship? Don't break so many things, and I might let you near the fancy tech. Did you just... That was a pressure-sensitive panel. It must be connected to... Quick! Get away from there! Hashang, what? Combustion in five, four, three, two... <laughs> and now I trust them even less. Really? Oh my god. I wish I could see your face right now. You're a very brave woman, knowing I must now retaliate. Or very stupid. I know. I don't even care how much I live to regret it. Excuse me. You're right, mate. Europa's Bane. Anyone heard of it? It's one of Toussaint Zapata's ships. It's the French! Ah, fuck. Should have known. Who is that? Latest pirate flavor of the month. Led a mining strike on Europa, stole a few ships, now self-employed as a full-time murdering psychopath. Ah, oh, so they're entrepreneurial. UNS given her a wide berth. If she wanted to take out this ship, it means she had a good reason. Or, she's just a murdering psychopath. Sounds like my kind of girl. Thanks. I floated across this dude who'd taken the lyrics to Dancing on the Ceiling a bit too literal. Luckily it was the guy who was supposed That's to be giving me a hand getting into the captain's quarters. So I took his hand. Sorry about this. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Then Ryan accidentally trod on a bit of Lego, which is where things kind of began to go south. If south exists in space. It's kind of like that tagline from Alien. In space. No one can use a compass effectively. Whatever mess he's got himself into, make sure the containment vault is secure. We cannot afford to lose it. Captain, Rayan's back suit is- Not now! Drummer, get your ass over there. Oh my god, no, Rayan! Oh, never mind, that's not him. Uh, 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 Hello Lego Less. You see, that joke's really good because it works on two fronts. Because you trod on Lego and Lego Le you know you know what, I'll just explain it another time. What happened? Unexploded charge, I think. Pirates must have left it behind. Pashang, you didn't scan first. Well then, you haven't got a leg to stand on. I'm sorry. I'm, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop myself. I'm sorry. And patch him now, or he could die. Belay that. That vault has O2 fuel, armaments. We can't afford to lose it. It was at this moment that I realised a joke doesn't actually work because Ryan has both of his legs attached, and I'm not about to let that banger of a joke be a flop. I'm sorry, Ryan, but you got to tell your legs. It's time to go. Send Virgil. I'm sorry, Ben. We're going to have to remove the leg. Nah, nah, you're crazy. We need these supplies to survive. I wish there was another choice. What are you doing? Lowering the oxygen intake. It's no morphine, but it'll help. No, no, I can't. <laughs> no. 
Be strong, Papaloda. You heard her, Baratna. Be strong. <laughs> Next time, don't take my barbecue sauce. Heading through the debris field and towards the captain's quarters, I found the crew's lodging and some interesting little items to be inspected. Hey Khan, you've been flying a long time, never seen anything like this before. Nah, but when it comes to pirates, nothing surprises me. They're all monsters. Sounds personal. Put it this way, we ever capture one alive? All I need is ten minutes and my torch blade. The ship would smell like barbecue for wings. I told you not to touch my fuck I'm the nor I'm in the nor I'm in the nor You're in. Let's see what these UNN big shots kept themselves. Captain, I'm prepping Mr. Morozov for surgery. Thanks to your steady hand, the incision is well cauterized. Do you have any experience with amputations? Exo, I've amputated more limbs than currently exist among this crew. That statement is Don't becoming worry. less impressive very quickly. Thanks, Virgil. Glad you were here. Ooh, is that a cigar? I bet Khan would love that. Shame I'm too short to grab it, though. This is question of a Hey, it's her! It's the, the, the voice, the woman, it's, it's, it's her! Operations. I am denying your request for additional support against better hostiles. Do your fucking job, or you can hand me your bars directly when you return to Earth to do whatever disgraced soldiers do after they have been retired. Regards, Christian Abbasarala. Christian, we all love you, but... That take was not it. This one didn't see any other way out. Oh well. Wow. Must have been a Nirvana fan. Maybe something good on here. Or maybe a lot of dick pics. Guess we'll see. Cap, found something that could be something. Transmitting now. Fuck. That's a lot of data. Well, hmm. sounds right. like it was a load of dick pics Loading after all. I'll see if there's any gold in this shit pile. Drummer? Yeah, boss man. Khan's picking up a short in the fusion coupling. She needs you to take a look. Now? Is that necessary? It is, if you want to put this wreck behind us. I'm on it. You'd think with a name like Artemis, we'd eventually hit our target. Not of me at the helm. This is Drummer. Preparing to access the fusion coupling. Stand by. Hey, that better not be the proto molecule. Maya. Maya. The volcano. You have to see this. Maya? Is everything... Wait, did I...? Oh, I left my mic on mute. Ah, oh, shit. Sabaka! Jamming the content pencil! I'm too embarrassed to admit to the gang that I left my mic on mute and didn't realise. I just framed Cox with attempted murder so that the guys wouldn't laugh at me. She'd tell us to get off our asses and get to work. That's the drummer I know. She'd be looking ahead to the next score. The next burn. That's right, boss man. I keep my eyes forward. But that makes it a lot harder to watch my back. It's over. You're fucked, Pompa. How the hell did you- Sabakawala tried to torch me. 
Lured me down to the thrusters, hit the engine. Play it off like it was an accident. I bet he was up in the bridge alone before coming down here, yeah? So, so what? what? I was masturbating. How was I supposed to know you were on the hull? You expect this crew to believe I'm dumb enough to service the engine without any communication? Yeah, I wouldn't do that, would I? Y'all see what's happening? Drummer's making her move. Oh, don't flatter yourself, big man. I always wondered when she would. Why did you do it? Was there something on that drive I found? Can you believe this bullshit? You've been planning this since you first stepped on board this ship, haven't you? Mutinous bitch. Why does he think I'm a mutant? I don't care what the rest of you think. Cap tried to kill me. Darling, Rayan. Take her down to the brig. She's gonna pay for this traitorous bullshit. Do it! Maybe be right, Drama. You can be pretty rough on your crew sometimes. But Belta Lorda ain't nothing if we sell each other out to Inyas. Nah. I don't think so, Pampa. Damn skinnies. Hey, someone get David Guetta on the phone. Known. And I really hope we can see more unity and more peace when already things are so difficult. Why don't you put that gun down, Captain? We're all crew here. Give me the gun, Captain. It'll be okay. She's gonna kill me. Damn right I am. No one is gonna kill you. But shut up, I am gonna kill him. So sure about that. Get your yeah, hands off him, he's mine. Okay if you just Bullshit. Tell it to the skinnies now. Again? Me. What the hell? You wanna see what happens to you when they're in charge of this ship? Maybe we should tell them who you really are. <laughs> Oh, it's only her. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Be sorry later. Right now, do your job. What happened to do no harm, asshole? I'll man the bridge while you sort out this shit show. Just don't touch anything! I'll be right there! As soon as Dr. Dipshit here is finished. Take him to the airlock. No! No! No, drummer! No, let me go! Drummer! No! Please, drummer, no! Ah! And that's how we got here. Listen to me, damn it. Drummer, listen to me. Nah. It's done. What now? Okay, I did hear him out, and he told us that the data had the coordinates for the centre of Milton Keynes or something, and that is a very specific joke for maybe half of my British audience, and even less will find funny, so I'm sorry guys, we're all about quantity here, not quality. We've been locked. Cox forgot to hide our drive signature. Hashang, of course he did. <laughs> Captain Drummer, what are your orders? Captain Drummer, what are your orders? Oh man, things are about to get mad. Wait, is that it? That's it? What? Thank you all for coming down to watch me shit all over Telltale's return. Like and subscribe if you liked and subscribe to the video. I'm so happy that Telltale are back and 
I'll be live streaming each episode of The Expanse one day before they release to the general peasantry. So, if you want to be amongst the first to see Telltale's new episodes, join me when I go live for an exclusive look at the next episode, made available through my contacts on the inside of Telltale and totally not through pre-ordering like the scumbag that I am. See you next episode. Have a good one.